three. That would be a great leg from Kenya. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to this amazing channel. So guess who we have here? Okay, <laughs> the champ himself. This is the guy who is going to beat <laughs> our own Omanyala. <laughs> and I believe in you. Yeah, yeah. Your name? Uh, my name is Tyson Juma. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a Masiga Mandira student. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a, sprint, a former rugby player, now a sprinter. Mm -hmm. I'm a dog lover. Mm -hmm. and, uh, dog lover, you mean you train dogs? Yeah, I, I breed dogs. Uh -huh. uh, I train dogs part of my week. And I love dogs. Mm -hmm. Basically, I love dogs. <laughs> but which is now your main passion? Track. Track. Track and field is my main passion. So, what's your best time? Currently, I'm, I'm at 10 for the third fastest time in the country. Third fastest time in the country. Uh -huh. And you're going to give us under 10. Hopefully. Best, really, I believe in it. I believe best it. friend to Ferdinand <laughs> or Manyala. Yeah. So guys, this is what he goes through to bring you, you know, the best out of him. So we are going to go through his training and we'll have a small discussion with him on what goes through his life to give you the best and to become the best. Yeah? So let's let's do this. <laughs> So, uh, guys, today we are meeting Omanyala's best friend. <laughs> and it's best friend in relation to what you guys do eh, uh -huh. in terms of racing. So, what does it take? Okay, take me through your training. Like, what have you done today? Uh, like, today I was doing my strength training. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in the weight room. Mm -hmm. I did some heavy squats, mm -hmm. cleans, mm -hmm. um, and uh, some, a bit of deadlift. Mm -hmm. Then I'm here now to, do, to be load. Mm -hmm. with uh, some box jumps. When you talk about heavy lifting, how many kilos have you lifted? Uh, Scott, I did my max of 200. That is 200 kilograms. Kilos, yeah, uh -huh. a, a max of 200 kilos. Uh -huh. That lift a max of, I, did, I went up to 160. Uh -huh. And then uh, the chin-ups, I went to 80. Mm -hmm. 80, 80. The cleans with the 80. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course the hip thrust. Mm -hmm. Uh, about 80 mm -hmm. then I'm here to do box jumps 20 20 each. okay t l l let me let me try to understand eh? what is the difference between what you've done inside the gym like heavy lifting and what you're doing now like uh, for sprints, mm -hmm. it, there's loading and deloading. Mm -hmm. So because I'm approaching the, the race, I need to deload. Mm -hmm. So after hitting the gym, mm -hmm. which is, is, is loading, mm -hmm. I need to deload it either with jumps or runs. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the jumps mm -hmm. that uh, will loosen up my body mm -hmm. uh, for me to at least be more flexible. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the jumps to deload. To deload. Yeah, to deload. So if you did the loading on the, in the gym eh, and you don't do what you're doing now, deloading, eh, you will end up bulking. Yeah. And I you become like a bodybuilder, like body uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. which is not oh, like which, your target. Yeah, which is not. Mm -hmm. uh, the so mostly now we are utilizing like fast stitch muscles. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that was a, because you I mean. you are a sprinter. Yeah. I need very explosive muscles, uh -huh. and uh, I need them to be very reactive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what time are you targeting this time round? Uh, for the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. uh, I want to attend to, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I can't set it, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm. I'm feeling fast, mm -hmm. I'm feeling uh, in good shape, mm -hmm. and I'm ready for it. What's your personal best? 10-4. Ten 10-4. Ten yeah. And your target is uh, under 10? In the next few, it's 10-2. It's, 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 it's a step at a time. Okay. You know, in sprints, you can't rush. Mm -hmm. So it's a build-up. You go for 10, but my main, my main aim is to do my best every time I get a chance to race. So if I'm in 10-4, the next time I'm racing, mm -hmm. I'm targeting a below 10-4. So 
so that's how you grow it. Ah, great. So now we do the. You continue with your workout. Yeah. Then we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay, let me ask you, uh, what does it take like to achieve the time that you want to clock outside the gym? Because of outside course, the gym, gym, you know, yeah. okay, of, co of course, you have to hit the track. Uh -huh. uh, for you to run fast, mm -hmm. you must run fast often. Mm -hmm. For you to run a fast time often, it means you have run very fast in training. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot, especially in training, your diet, mm -hmm. your recovery, mm -hmm. your mental, of mm -hmm. course. Your mental is plays a key, and uh, basically you work it. You can how driven you are. So you can actually tell uh, like your time at the end of like a race, cause of course you do that in training. Uh -huh. Like if you want to hit like under ten, eh, uh, you have to practice like under ten for a period of time before you actually hit the the race. Uh, you, you must run fast in training. There's no way you're going to run fast in a race mm -hmm. and you've been running uh, uh, slow times in, in, in training. Mm -hmm. So it all comes from your training. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the hard work behind the scenes is what matters. Mm -hmm. The race is just to do what you, you've been doing in training. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or even at, at times in the race, there's that maybe adrenaline kilogo, maybe there are those guys who, who perform in, in races mm -hmm. and in training. Mm -hmm. but I'm not running. So what contributes like to someone going under the time that you've actually been training? Weather maybe? Uh, weather, yes. Uh -huh. Spikes. Uh -huh. uh, but training, uh -huh. who you are. Uh -huh. Like you have to train. Uh, there's no shortcut in sprints. Uh -huh. It's an individual sport where you have to give your best. If you don't give your best, nobody will give it to you. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it's all about you. Let's talk about diet. <laughs> uh, diet uh -huh. plays like... 50 or 60 percent of this mm -hmm. because you can't recover for them you can't go for another training if your body is not yet to recover mm -hmm. you'll be tearing down your muscles mm -hmm. so you need very good recoveries mm -hmm. of food you need fuel food is like fuel mm -hmm. so for a sprinter and you know you're using a, you're burning a lot of calories you need mm -hmm. to replace them mm -hmm. you, you're doing gym for me like me you need to eat a lot of proteins mm -hmm. for you to get the muscles mm -hmm. uh, a lot of water mm -hmm. So food is basically everything. For me, mm -hmm. it works. So roughly on a day, four to five meals. Four to five meals. Yeah. How expensive is that? Very expensive. Very. So we're talking about, okay, can you put like a figure to it? <laughs> I can't. You can't? I can't because uh, sometimes you have money, sometimes you don't have, mm -hmm. but still you have to. To exercise. To exercise. So are, are there days to... you exercise, but you don't have like enough diet to like, because you see, like now you are torturing the muscles, eh? Yeah, yeah. They need fuel after you are yes, working yes, out. Yes, yes. Yeah? yeah. So yes. there are days, and you fund yourself this, yeah. or maybe a company funds uh, you. No, I don't have. So, so currently don't you don't company. have. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, relying on uh, myself and a bit of family. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there are days you'll go without enough, but mm -hmm. I can't say I'm lacking, but mm -hmm. lacking. I can, at least I can get even one meal a day. Mm -hmm. At least. This, uh, but of course you can do better if a company yeah, comes on yeah, board. 
that's my dream. Uh -huh. If you get endorsements, uh, uh -huh. you don't have stress. You know, training also is, mm -hmm. takes a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. Sprints mm -hmm. take like a hundred percent of your time. If you're not training physically, you're training mentally, mm -hmm. you're training spiritually because mm -hmm. you, you, you need all of them to run mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. like, if I had a chance here, mm -hmm. if I had the opportunity to train every day and still get something in my pocket to pay mm -hmm. my bills. Of course you have bills to pay and yeah. all that. There's also life after uh, beyond track. I know. Yeah, so I know brands are watching and <laughs> yes, we need them on board. <laughs> hopefully, yeah? hopefully yeah. they're watching. Yes. They should be watching. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, so we'll talk more. Okay. Let's continue with your workout. Okay. Sorry. So, this is a like a reaction drill for mm -hmm. the blocks mm -hmm. where we're doing the stats. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to go down, then uh, immediately on the go, mm -hmm. it's up and I'm the box. Mm -hmm. so, so how does it help you? This one helps you to, to get your, your, your reaction because you, you need a very good reaction time uh, on the blocks mm -hmm. for the start and you also need a lot of power. Mm -hmm. So by you executing the, the movement up mm -hmm. and then jump, mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a very like explosive and a sh within a short time. Short so time. it gives you some good muscles for the blocks. That's why I love it. Let's do this! Great scenes here. The Kenyans are now doing well at lots of different events. 